Hey, hey, family. Marshawn Alanio here, your favorite life and relationship strategist. And I help Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift you to feeling heard, understood, and appreciated. Now, as you know, my mission, and if you don't know, if you're finding me for the very first time, my mission is to decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate one conversation at a time. And the conversation that I want to have with you here today, especially if you are someone who is single, single dating, or maybe even engaged or wanting to be engaged. Because if you're married, all of these things should absolutely already be within. Um, you, should, you should have already experienced these things. Now, with that being said, someone sent in a question and really wanting to know what are some of the things to look for when a guy is really invested in you? And so I want to answer that question here today. Also keep in mind, if you have questions yourself, go ahead and send them in to me. You can send them to Marshawn at MarshawnOlanio.com. That information is down in the description box below. So you can go ahead and look for that. Send me your question. If you're watching this on social media, then of course you can just send me a DM on whatever platform you are watching this on. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and answer the question. And I have seven things that you should be looking for. If a guy is really invested in you as well as invested in the relationship and what I am going to be speaking about today is literally him, the guy thinking about taking the relationship to a more serious status, mainly it could be um, basically moving the relationship forward. So if you guys are just dating, maybe he's thinking about you becoming his girlfriend. Or if you guys are already girlfriend, boyfriend, maybe he's thinking about popping the question and then you get engaged. So again, if you're already married, you should already have experienced these things already. So now let's go ahead and jump into the list. Okay, so <laughs> without further ado, number one, he's making sure that you are safe. Now, safe is literally right so like if you guys are out in public and someone says something to you or maybe um he is really trying to jump and when i say jump and i literally mean jump and like if he sees a car or something coming like to push you back or something because he's making sure that you're safe or he's making sure that you're safe when you guys are walking on the sidewalk and he literally is walking on the side where the vehicles would come right um and if, if you're young and listening to this uh, young man, then make sure that whenever you're walking next to the woman on the sidewalk that you are by the traffic because this is where some of the safety comes in. Now, if you guys are already in a relationship, the safety could be him actually paying on the dates. Now, that's debatable and all this other stuff, right, about who pays and that's something that I talk about uh, before. But, but in this instance, paying for the date is safety and security. Making sure that I don't get hit by, you know, um, the car, safety and security. Making sure that, um, safety and security, the one I'm thinking, oh, right, if somebody is actually doing something to me or saying something to me that's trying to cause me bodily harm, that you're kind of, um, that he is acting as the barrier in between the two of you, right? So making sure that you feel safe. But that also is in a space of emotional safety as well, meaning you can open up and just be you. You can open up and showcase exactly who you are without feeling like you are going to be judged based off of the things that you say or the things that you do. Like, if you want to be silly, can you be silly? Can you laugh your butt off? Or does it always have to be a very serious environment where literally the air is really stiff? So he's going to make you feel safe in every aspect of the word that you can think of. So every everything that you can think of or whatever your definition of safe or safety is within a relationship, look for those things that he is doing. Because this is totally shown that he is really invested in you as well as invested in the relationship. Now, number two, he talks about the future with you. I remember when I was dating this one guy, and this is how, this was one of the things that made me realize that he really wasn't into me. And it was because whenever he talked about the future, he would literally say, when I 
go and buy this house or when I go and do X, Y, and Z. And we had been dating for a while and we'd come up to be couple, right? But obviously he didn't think about taking me to the next level with him because whenever his future of the talks came, it was always I. And I didn't say anything, but I did pay attention, right? Um, I didn't break it off right away because I was just very early on and understanding that this was one of the things that I should be looking for about the I statements versus the we statements. Um, but it was something that I was like, wait a minute, you keep saying you. Okay. Okay. Antenna's up. <laughs> but if you are listening to this, please understand that he does not see you in his future if he is saying I statements. That should be your ticket to move along because he doesn't see you in his future and if he doesn't see you in his future what are you guys doing it's okay it's okay that he doesn't see you in his future but it's also okay for you to choose you and not waste any more of your beautiful time so talks of we in the future versus i right he's invested in you if it's we now the third thing is that he introduces you to his sacred friends circle. Now, I say sacred friends circle because you might have heard about his friends and his friends might have heard about you, but you guys have never, your circles, your paths have never crossed, right? So the sacred friend circle that you hear so much about that he's always laughing and joking with his guys with his friends, and you hear all of these stories, now you get to meet these sacred friends. This also can include family as well, right? And specifically parents. But I didn't make them the center because a lot of people nowadays, we move away from our primary family, right? So his sacred friends circle could be his family right? So keep that in mind. If you get introduced to him, now this does not mean that he's introducing you to them right away. It might be a month or two before you get to meet, or even a couple of months before you get to meet the friend circle. And what the reason why, okay, I'll give you the reason. The reason why he is keeping you away from them is because <laughs> he does see you in a different light. But he's also trying to decide how much further or longer you're going to stay in his world and in his life and he knows that if he opens up the door over here to his friends to his sacred friend circle then you're basically in you're basically in he now is seeing you a part of his world his world over here is with his friends right now and now he's bringing you into the world as well so if you get introduced to the sacred friend circle, then he is really invested in you as well as in the relationship. The fourth thing is literally he starts to get his finances in order if he has not already started that. Now, this depends on the quality of guy that you're dealing with. And what I mean by quality is some men already know that they want a relationship, but they don't want to do it until their finances are in order. But then you have some men that don't worry about relationships, right? And then that one woman comes along and he's like, Arr! hold up, I need to start putting up a nest egg over here. So neither one are bad, right? Just some men prepare for it because they know that this is in their future and they want to have this thing solidified. And others are like, whatever, whenever it comes, I ain't got no responsibility, whatever. Oh, wait a minute, hold up. This one, hold up, hold up. I don't, don't want to lose this one. So let me start putting some coins together. Let me start getting my stuff together. So if he's starting to get his finances together after you guys have um, started, that is definitely going to be a telltale sign. However, pay attention if he already has his finances in order as well, because those men, they're pretty much ready to do what it is that the guy that's going to help you feel financially secure as well as safe would do, right? So neither one is better than the other. I'm just letting you know that if he's getting his finances or has already started to get his finances in order and, and, and it has something to do with you, okay, <laughs> it's because he's already thinking the future. Now, if it was the guy that already started to get his finances together before you, that doesn't mean that he's doing it um, for the we factor, right? It just means that he knows that he, what he wants, right? Um, but specifically for the guy that you're the one that's, he's like, hold up, I need to start getting X, Y, and Z together. 
invested in you specifically. The other one just knows that he's going to make this financial investment in whatever woman that he chooses. But that one doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be you. Okay? Number, where we at? Number five. He always wants to be around you. Like, <laughs> this is a part of the dating process, right? The getting to know, the butterflies in the stomach, the fun times, the laughter, right? This is what this is all about. He wants to be around you all the time. Now, now, all the time, of course, does not mean all the time because we all got to take care of our responsibilities and life, blah, blah, blah. But the moments that he can spend with you, he would opt to do just that. And he's making you a priority in his life because nine times out of ten, he has a busy life. And so because he has a busy life, he wants to make sure that the people that are important to him take part in his busy life, i.e. you. So he's making sure that you are a priority in his life and he wants to spend as much time with you as possible. So he wants to always be around you. Okay. Always calling, texting, checking up, seeing how you're doing, he, he, ha, ha, even if that is for a few moments before he goes into a meeting or has to drive somewhere or has to do whatever. He wants to be around you. Number six, he wants sex. Don't ever get that twisted. He does. But it's okay because women want sex too. We don't talk about that enough. We do. The point that I'm bringing up here is that although he wants sex, it's not going to be the biggest priority for him. Right? Because he knows that there are bigger things and other priorities and other things that must fall into place in order to have a very secure, healthy, stable relationship. So yes, he's going to want sex. Don't get that twisted. You're going to want sex. Don't get that twisted. But it's not the priority. It's not every waking moment. It's not after you guys initially or finally have sex that that is the only thing he wants to do now. So before, and this is literally something to pay attention to, before sex, all the questions in the world, who are you, da, 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 right? All these conversations, spending all the time in the world with you, right? And then after sex, he's still the same way. That's a man that's invested in you. After sex, he still acts the same way that he acted prior to. The other guy that you still have to be aware of is the guy that does all the things that the invested guy does. But now after sex, he's gone. Or he pulls away. Or he has better things to do now. Now you're not the priority. Pay attention. Take it in. Because honestly, you never know which one is which. Which is why, number seven, you have to get to know them. And ask plenty, plenty, plenty of questions about who they are. But guess what? More importantly, this is what he should be doing for you because this question was based off of the young lady wanting to know what the man is going to do to show that he is invested in her and so yes you should be asking a plethora of questions to get to know him but he should be still asking you a plethora of questions about who you are how did you grow up what are your likes what are your dislikes like everything that um is important to him about you he should really still be leaning in and trying to understand and figure out who you are now if you still need some help with any of these or something else i am offering a free 30 minute consultation or coaching call free 30 minutes no distractions get your question answered go to www.marshawnold.com and sign up for your free 30 minute Call. I am here. I am totally wanting to help each and every one of you because here's the thing, my mission, and I want you to be a part of my mission, but you can only be a part of the mission if you are totally ready to take it to the next level. And by doing that, by signing up, you are wanting to take the relationship with yourself as well as the relationship with your significant other to the next level www.marshawnold.com we'll have that 30 minute conversation because that is what the mission is all about decreasing the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate one conversation at a time one conversation at a time so if you're ready to have that conversation go and sign up 
definitely let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section area about the video today. What are some of the other things that I may have missed to show that a guy or you as the guy watching this can be and is invested in the woman that he chooses? All right. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it. And I will talk to you later.